Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the Crawl Space Craftsman. On today's video, I'm gonna show you in Lightburn how to make your laser get the most of its power. So on this one right here, you could see that it cut all the way through, and this one it did not, on the same exact setting, 100% of the power. There's a reason for that. What I'm gonna do is show you in Lightburn right now on how to make sure that if you got a brand new laser, and for some reason, you're thinking that you're not getting the full potential power out of it, there could be a reason why. Let's go ahead and I'm going to show you in Lightburn right now why that may be. You might want to check your settings uh, before you do any cuts. So here we go. Let's go. All right, guys. So we are in Lightburn right now, and you can see right here I have a polygon shape cut uh, drawn out. And you can see over here in the top right where I have my speed at millimeters per minute. I have it at 150, 150 millimeters a minute, and I have it at 100% power with one pass. So what I'm gonna do is show you a setting that you need to make sure that you have correct. All right, so if you go to edit, and then you can see down here, you have device settings and machine settings. You have to make sure that your S value max is set exactly the same. If, if you didn't do that, then what'll happen is your your laser output won't match what the potential power can be. So let me show you. So on your machine settings, which you wanna go first, you wanna see right here your max spindle speed is your S value max, your $1.30 sign, mine is set to 10,000. It just defaulted to that, so we're gonna leave it at 10,000. So if you click on OK, and then go back up to edit, go back to now device settings, if you look right down here, you can see the S value max is only at 1000. Now what that means is that I'm only gonna get 10% of the potential power out of my Fox Alien 20 watt diode laser. So now, basically, let me close this out. If I make this cut right here, it's gonna cut at 100% power, but technically, that's only 10% because I'm using 100% of that 1000 S value max. I know that might sound a little confusing, but really I'm only using 10% of my total potential laser. So let's go over to the laser and I'm gonna hit send and I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. So let's go ahead and do that now. Right, guys check it out there it is so you could see right here that it did not cut all the way through didn't even make it to rub to even close to the back you could see right here I can put my fingernail in there and it barely touched because I only used 10% even though it was set to 100% cut I only used 10% of the potential power out of my laser altogether so with that being said we're going to go ahead and put this back and we're going to change some numbers and I'll show you what the difference is all right so what we're going to do is let's go back over here to the um, settings let's go to edit let's go to device settings Let's go ahead and put a zero into there. So now you can see I have 10,000 set into that S value max. Let's go ahead, okay. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put this piece of wood back and now we're gonna go ahead and cut again. So let me do that real quick.
All right, guys, that is it. Check out the difference. So just by changing that number and adding a zero, having that number wrong in the settings of your light burn can change the difference of how your projects cut. Check that out. This is a quarter inch. Let's see. Let's get our calipers out. There it is right there. You could see one quarter inch ply cut in one pass very easily. Look. Make sure that you go ahead into your settings when you purchase your laser to make sure that that S value max is set correctly. I actually made this error when I purchased my Fox Alien and I couldn't figure out for the life of me why I wasn't getting the potential power that it said that it can do. And let me tell you something, the second that I changed that, as you saw, a huge difference in the outcome of my laser cutting. If you like this video, go down below, hit the thumbs up button. If you're not yet subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the channel. And until that next video, make sure I'll do one thing, stay awesome. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.